Hey guys, how are you? That's Tomaz here. That's my second devlog. In the first one, I showed to you the main character going to a room to another, a bush, to give more life to the room. And during the last two weeks, I worked on a minimap system and also a procedural room generation. So let's stop talking and go through what I have done in Unity. In order to make it easier to test it and also show, I added this code in the update method. When I press R, it will regenerate the rooms according to the script parameters. These attributes receive a list of tiles that will be picked randomly to create a room. Here I have a list of grounds, a list of walls, a list of corners, and here a list of passages. The room size attribute stores the amount of rooms of each size. For now, I have only two sizes, regular and large. Change the quantity attributes we generated 12 regular rooms and 5 larger. And also the disposition of the level. The main direction attribute receives the direction of the level. For example, setting this to top right the rooms will be generated going to up right. Changing to up left and reloading, it will change its direction. In the rooms layout attribute, I can set the list of rooms layout that can be randomly picked. Each one has a different setup of the disposition of the elements in the room. For now, I have only bushes, but soon I will set the position where the enemies will be spawned and adding more elements to the room. I spent more time than I expected building the system in a very flexible way, but I believe it will work when I have to generate other levels and also the feeling of surprise that players will have when they play the game. Now, as we can have levels with dozens of rooms, it's time to create a minimap. First, I create the elements to be shown in the minimap. I square with rounded edge to represent the proper minimap in the canvas. I square to represent the passage between the rooms, a circle to represent the player, and as you can see, I left it all of them white because I can change the color in unit without changing the image. Then I create a new camera, this minimap UI, which will show only objects in the minimap layer. Created a new object with a sprite renderer under the player with green color and set the layer as a minimap. Added a new object to the passage prefab and set the minimap layer there as well. The room, well, the room was a bit different. First, I have to add this minimap color attribute so I can set up a different color for different rooms. So, for example, let's say I have a a room with a boss, or a room with a checkpoint, or, or a room with a special thing. I can have different colors for each one. And another thing is, as the room have different size, I couldn't use an image to represent the room in the minimap, but a mesh. And I create this function to create a mesh that will be visible in the minimap camera when the player enters into a room. So, I hope you find this video interesting. That's my second devlog and thank you very much for all support from the first video. There are much much more to bring here and share with you guys. So please give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye!